Hello Joyful Tribe and welcome back to the channel. Trust everyone is doing well and Happy New Year. Today we're going to be making Ufo Nubu. This is the authentic Onubu soup recipe you do not want to miss. Keep watching, let me show you how to make this. To begin, I'm going to pluck the bitter leaf from the stalk. This is like the main ingredient. So what you want to do is sun dry this for about an hour or two so it can dry a little bit. Actually, you want this to wilt and not dry very well otherwise it's going to just shatter once it is dry you can also leave it on your kitchen counter for a few days next i'm going to wash this properly to get rid of sand or dust do it multiple times till the water runs clear place the washed bitter leaf into a pot of boiling water and let this cook for a few minutes this is the fastest way to get rid of the bitter taste from the leaf now, the longer you cook this, the less bitter it will be. So depending on how bitter or less bitter you want it, cook it. Now for this soup, I cooked this for five to six minutes before I went ahead to drain. Now once you drain, you're going to cool it down with some cold water. Now all of this is what will usually take you at least 30 to 40 minutes to wash if you're going to use your hands regularly. So once I drain it, I wash it two to three times and by the third time, most of the bitter taste was already gone. Now the bitter leaf is ready, I'm going to now cook the kokuyam. It will take the longest time, so start with that. Now I know this is not the kind of kokuyam that we use for ofo nubu, but this was the best I could find where I live. Now while that is going, go ahead and cook your protein of choice. I have here some goat meat already cleaned. I have some okboroko head. For some reason, I just like okboroko head. I find it to be tastier. I'm going to add some bomo. This was a bit tough, so I went in with it early going with some seasoning, some salt and Cameroon pepper. Stir everything well to combine, cover and let this steam for the first 15 minutes without adding water. Today's special hug is for Patricia watching from Abia State in Nigeria. Thank you for always watching and liking my videos. So after about 15 minutes, I'm going to come back, stir all of this together. You would see it begin to release some juices in there, which is good. Now you're going to add some water, cover and continue to cook this for another 20 minutes. At this time, I'm going to check on the kokoyam. Once a knife or a fork can drive through easily, you know it is ready. I'm going to peel the skin and then blend in a blender. You can also pound this using a mortar. Make sure to do it while it is still warm, that way it's a lot more easier. I check on the goat meat after the 20 minute mark and then go in with some washed snails. You don't have to add it, it is optional. You know I love my snails. I'm also going to go in with some well washed fish. You want to soak your fish. Always wash your stock fish head and your dry fish with warm water and salt to remove any ant or sand in there. I went in with a bit of seasoning. You can also add salt. Add a bit of water and let that cook for another 10 minutes. We don't want our snails to overcook. It's been 10 minutes after adding the snail. Now I'm going to go in with enough water for the soup. That's the stock for the soup. This depends on the quantity of soup you're making, okay? So I've added some water now. I'm going to go in with the blended kokoyam. Now with this kokoyam, you're going to add enough to thicken the soup. You also don't want the soup to be too thick because by the time it cools down, it is going to thicken some more. Once you add the kokoyam, you're going to add every other ingredient now first off is some ground crayfish i like to be generous with that going with some more pepper depending on how spicy you like your soup but i just like American pepper for this soup it has a distinct taste next thing is ogilisi this is the medicine for this soup no ogilisi no ufonubu add it in there and then go in with some palm oil as well you can also taste and adjust with seasoning or salt if necessary 
Once you add the palm oil, cover and let this boil up for another seven minutes on medium high heat. In between, you want to come back and check to see how thick your soup is. If it is thick enough to your desired consistency and then you have some more cocoyam on top of it, then you can scoop out the remaining cocoyam. Otherwise, cover and continue to simmer until everything is dissolved. Seven minutes later, I check on the soup. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looking so beautiful. The aroma was nose blinding. So good. So at this point, I'm going to now add the bitter leaf. Remember our bitter leaf that we washed? Look at this consistency. Just right, not too thick. So I'm going to add the bitter leaf now and then let it simmer for a few more minutes. Still watching? Then this is a good time to please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe. Subscription is free. They don't charge you for it. While at it, you also want to click on that notification bell to your right and then hit the one that says all notifications so you'll be among the first to know anytime I upload a new video. Thank you. The bitter leaf have been in here for five minutes now. I'm going to stir everything to combine. At this point, soup is ready. Oh, the aroma was nose blinding. It is looking good. Look at that color. Check the description box for the palm oil that I used. You'll love it. Okay, you can get it from Amazon. Our soup is ready now. I'm going to take this off the heat. Now, to send this down, I'm going to make pounded yam. Honestly, the best pair for this soup is fufu santana or apple but i don't have that today that's why i'm going to make some pounded yam boil some water remove some of it set it aside and then go in with your yam flour you're going to keep stirring as you add until it begins to turn stiff Once everything is well molded like this, it doesn't mean it is cooked. You're going to now go in with the hot water we set aside earlier. Cover and let this cook for another 10 minutes on medium low heat. After 10 minutes, come back, give everything a good mix again. This time you want to heat it towards the side of the pot to activate a bit of stretch. Then you know your pounded yam is ready. Serve and enjoy. I hope you try this out and enjoy it together with your family. Send me your pictures on Instagram at joyfulcook underscore once you do. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.